paying attention. And uh, Mick, did I hear correctly, you're, are you heading off to Afghanistan? Again, I would have thought the troops would have suffered enough, but uh, <laughs> I've, got, I've actually performed there once already, mm -hmm. and it was a, quite a unique experience performing to a room full of people all carrying guns. Yes, so, yes, so that's it's never happened apart from one gig in Frankston. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a unique experience nonetheless, Tommy. Good luck with the trip. <laughs> All right, it is time now to talk sport. Oh, James okay. Faulkner was ruled out of the test after breaking what? Ed. His thumb. His right in thumb. The yeah. In the net. In the net. a local bowler, a British Indeed. guy. This test marks what milestone for Michael Clark? <laughs> Mick. First Australian captain ever to declare on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite, Sam. It's his hundredth test. Playing his hundredth oh. test. Test. You think he would have passed by now? That's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm not sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bats. Bats. <laughs> Bernard Tomic announced this week that he has a new what? Ed. It'll be a coach, won't it? A they new always coach. coach the he has a new players. coach, Vilimir Zovko. <laughs> what is this man with a leaf blower doing? Mick. Cleaning up after a party at Nigella Lawson's house? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. He is, in fact, trying to clear snow during an NFL game Don't in the ruin States. Don't it, Tom. We're, <laughs> We're having fun. Just the facts. All right. FIFA have banned what from next year's World Cup? Ed. They banned Australia's chances of winning a match. <laughs> They certainly have done that, but this is more an, an article, Mick. I'm going to go, tell me it's, please promise me it's the Vuvuzela, it's the Vuvuzela, <laughs> oh, yeah. is it? It's in the, in the oh, zone. It's a Brazilian samba drum. They're not going to let anyone bring the drums into the stadium. To showbiz <laughs> news, and Beyonce surprised the music world on Friday by doing what? Oh, 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 she released an album on iTunes without telling anyone. Quite correct. No pre-publicity for her new album. Can you go oh, 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 oh again? <laughs> I feel like this is a trap. <laughs> I won't push it. According to YouTube figures, the most popular music clip of 2013 is... Mick. Does it involve Miley Cyrus and a wrecking ball? It does indeed. Chance. Oh. It was, in fact, Miley Cyrus's. Oh, yeah, she's made it all sexy. Wiley Coyote was doing that for years. No, I gave a shit. You got nothing. I needed a can of WD-40 to get her down from there, too. <laughs> Kanye West is not happy. Why? Celia. Because he's a rapper, he can't be happy. Well, that's like, pretty close. He can't be like, my bitches and I had a picnic, it was great. True. <laughs> he's a little unhappy that his album, Jesus, was overlooked for a Grammy nomination. He says it's racial. There he is on stage giving vent to his feelings about this snub. Why was he dressed as a captain? <laughs> <laughs> was it at the concert, Ed? Probably should have popped something on before he left the hotel room, really, <laughs> shouldn't he? Take a listen to this ad. It's beginning to look a lot like... Christmas, Christmas. isn't Christmas without... Without what, Ed? Everyone going home in tears. <laughs> that is Christmas for a lot of people. Mick. A drunk in-store Santa. <laughs> Uh, Ed. I know this one. That is the uh, Michael Bublé Christmas album ad. Ed, absolutely oh, correct. Why did he use Michael Bublé singing? Was that him? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think they would have done an ad for his new album and used Frank Sinatra. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think that was Crazy Frog. No. I think that might have been him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right. We all know the Facebook like button. What new button are they about to add, Ed? Stalk. <laughs> Not in the uh, pipeline. Uh, Rach. Please, can it be a bullshit button for... You know when you have those friends that are online, they've just broken up with their boyfriend, and they go, love and life, having a great time, hot and sexy tonight. You go, you're crying yourself to sleep at night. Yeah, we do need that button, but that is not, in fact, what Facebook are planning. It, it is, in fact, a sympathy button. Oh. So if someone posts something sad, you can't go like, like my mother-in-law just died. Like, it, like doesn't really work, does it? What's it going to be? Like sympathy. I sympathise. Yeah, but what's the image? Like a thumbs up, a thumbs down, <laughs> oh, picture yeah. of Sam. I mean, what is it? What are you... <laughs> I don't know, Nick. Tommy. <laughs> when did I become the loser on this show? Tell me, what has been voted the worst children's toy of the year? Sam. The Nintendo AK-47. <laughs> 
Celia. Uh, it is the iPad potty. The iPad potty, indeed. All right, we need to take a break. Scoreboard tells the story. Celia out in front, but plenty of time to make a move when we return. <laughs> Each week we invite our contestants to study one person or event from the news. Mick, you've nominated Aussie paceman Mitchell Johnson. Yep. Your time starts now. Where was he born? At Townsville. What state does he play for? Western Australia. What award did he win in 2009? No idea. ICC's Cricketer of the Year. There you go. Complete this <laughs> Barmy Army chant. He bowls to the left, he bowls to the right. That. Uh, Mitchell Johnson's bowling is nothing but shite. It's something about shite. <laughs> shite is the Can key word. Can I point word. out, though, that this is since he's had that moustache. Stop the clock. I think this is why the English fear him so much. Because with that moustache, he looks like Ivan Milat. <laughs> <laughs> and there's nothing that frightens a bunch of visiting poms <laughs> than... Yeah. Like an Ivan Milat lookalike threatening to kill him. He has a full sleeve tattoo of what? Coifish. A Japanese koi fish on his Which, arm. incidentally, uh, was on the English lunch menu. <laughs> I believe that little bit of couscous. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was quinoa. <laughs> oh, Mick Malloy. <laughs> Near perfect. Line <laughs> and All right, Celia, John yep. Bon Jovi's in the country and you've Whoa. been paying close attention. Let's see how <laughs> close. Where was he born? New Jersey. How old is he? 51, I still would. <laughs> Just his age, surely fine. <laughs> Where did he meet his wife? Oh, high school. They're high school sweethearts. Dorothea. What is their most popular song? Oh, I'd reckon it'd be Living on a Prayer. You'd be correct. Where did Tommy used to work? Um, I think it was the panel, wasn't it? <laughs> <sighs> I would have taken on the dock. Who works the <laughs> diner all day? The diner uh, is Gina, and she brings home the pay for love. Oh! For love. <laughs> what is the name of his charity? It's the John Bon Jovi Soul Foundation. Why was John Bon... Oh, wow. Good Silly job. Oh, look, give yourself a backstage pass. <laughs> Sam, the Holden Motor Car Company have a oh. long and proud history. Let's find out how much of it you can remember. What is the company's full name? General Motors Holden. Where is their Australian headquarters? Port Melbourne, Victoria. Where is their international headquarters? Detroit. The company was founded in 1856. What did they originally make? Horses. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Saddles. In sales terms, what is their most popular car ever? The Commodore. Correct. What is their hooniest? The Impoundo. <laughs> Otherwise known as what? the Monaro. What does the HRT stand for? Holden Racing Team. Who has been Holden's most successful driver ever? Mick Malloy. <laughs> Yet to take the wheel, Mark no. Scaife. Oh, <laughs> Sam Hang, a V8 performance. <laughs> you actually, your name sounds like a car. The Holden Sampang. <laughs> no, it'd be a Mitsubishi, wouldn't it? It's <laughs> it. I'm just saying, it's got that ring. <laughs> Tommy, when did I become the loser of this? <laughs> Rachel, former Italian Prime Minister Silvio oh, Berlusconi yeah. looks to be back in court and in your sights. How did he make his money? Uh, he's a media magnate. How many times has he served as Prime Minister of Italy? Three times. What's the name of his party? Uh, the very Liberal Party. <laughs> Otherwise known as Forza Italia. What was he thrown out of last month? A 16th birthday party. <laughs> Otherwise known as the Senate. What has he been convicted of? Uh, tax fraud. How did he avoid going to jail? Slept with the judge. <laughs> Too old, he was over 70. Oh, Who is this? That is Ruby Hartstealer, although I don't think she cares about stealing hearts. <laughs> Quite correct. What? Oh, Rachel Corbett. Bunga bunga. Very fine. Ed. Yes. The Hunger Games movie continues to smash box office records. You Let's know... see how much of a fanboy. You really you know are. me, Tom. I love a touching story for kids about kids murdering other kids. That's... <laughs> We've come a long way from Herbie, haven't we? Indeed. Name the heroine. Katniss Everdeen. What's her nickname? Catnip. Name the two boys in love with her. Jacob and Edward. <laughs> Gail and Peter. Oh, yeah, Competitors Gail. in the Hunger Games are known as... Tributes. Which clothing label supplied the costumes? Oh. 
hot tuna? <laughs> Alexander McQueen. Oh. Who sells the fashion line? It's, uh, it's only online, isn't it? Like a shop bot or something. Big W.com? I don't know. <laughs> it's net a porter. Oh, it's right. a shop bot. <laughs> just, just made it up with it. What gets destroyed? Spoiler alert. What gets destroyed at the end of Catching Fire? Any interest in seeing the next movie? <laughs> Look away now, it is in fact District 12. Oh no! Oh, Ed Cavalier! <laughs> Catching fire for us all. And that is the end of round three. You can see the scores, but can they change? Let's find out when we return. Okay, we're in for the final lap. Hands on buzzers, it's rapid recall. The UK has just recognised what as a religion? Celia. Is it something to do with Doctor Who? Scientology. Oh. Who stood in for Tony Abbott while he was in South Africa? Mick. Goebbels. Trust. <laughs> <laughs> Why did so many Australian couples get married on Wednesday? Rach. It's cheaper. <laughs> Lucky date, 11th of the 12th of 13th. Victoria is the first state to outlaw doing what with a mobile phone? Mick. Sexting. Correct. What musical instrument fetched one million dollars at auction? Sam. Rolf Harris's wobble board. <laughs> was in fact Bob Dylan's first electric guitar, a Fender Stratocaster. <laughs> Who is the most popular Australian on Twitter? Oh. Sam. Is it Cody Simpson? 6.1 million followers. What? Who's Cody Simpson? <laughs> Mick. Who is Cody Simpson? <laughs> Uh, Justin Bieber light, he is. Yep, yep, 16 year old singer who supported Bieber on his tour. And as I mentioned, he has 6.1 million Twitter followers. I don't like him. <laughs> this band received what exciting news this week? Nick. <laughs> they no longer have to fish around in Brotherhood bins for their. <laughs> their wardrobe. Possibly, Sam. They were released without charge. <laughs> Uh, they were, I think, an Australian band who got nominated for a Grammy. They are, in fact, Australia's Hiatus Coyote. First Grammy Award nomination. The top baby names of 2013 are out. What's the most popular boy's name? Ed. Centrelink. <laughs> Oliver. And girl's name? Ed. Baby bonus. Charlotte. Actually, Mick, you've got twins. What are, what are your boys called? Hamish and Andy. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> COAG was held on Friday. What's COAG? Uh, it's the Council of Australian Governments. Correct. Mm -hmm. Uruguay just legalised what? Celia. Uh, cannabis. Correct. Yeah, they that in for schoolies week, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Protesters in Kiev have pulled down a statue. Take a look. There it goes. Bang. Who is it? <laughs> Sam. That's Lenin. Vladimir Lenin. Well done. Oh. And ladies and gentlemen, we're out of Running forward to the Czechian final leaderboard, and our winner is Celia Popova. here with us this evening. We'll leave you tonight with a timely reminder of the pitfalls of presenting live news. As a reporter, it's no good getting the facts right if you can't manage your own name. The calls still under investigation. Live in North Fort Myers, Christina Lesby in, uh, excuse me, ABC7. And on that note, we'll say goodnight. See you next week.